Hey guys, so uh, I have the last of my diamond painting. I have nothing more coming in the mail. I have managed not to buy anything else. Oh, shoot. I feel like I, I just got up and I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I have to sneeze really bad usually when I get up. Shoot. TMI. Um, first of all, I got this cute little card from Kara. She's a uh, paper confessions with Kara Mia here on YouTube and I'll leave a link to her channel in the description box below. It's just a thank you card for joining her challenge. She put a little, um, uh oh. Sorry, holding back. This I usually sneeze like 15 to 28 times within the first hour of me getting up, so... But I have to do this during the daylight, and I woke up late in the day. Um, it was for joining her challenge. I don't know if I just said that or not. And then she included some cute stickers. Holly Jelly. Thank you so much, Karen. Oh, Setup's a little bit weird again. Still couldn't find that. Uh oh, I just dropped a sticker. Oh, there it is. Still cannot find that uh, piece to my tripod, and I haven't. The town that my post office is in does not have a thrift store, so that I could buy a new tripod. So, all right. So it's mostly Timu, uh, and then what I was waiting on was a painting that I had bought from. Alley. Um, it was a bit of a splurge, but it was something I really wanted. And it's something that is near and dear to my heart. So I felt like it was worth it. Um, should we do the Alley one first? Yeah, let's do the Alley one first. Okay, so it was $16.13 for a I don't remember. We'll see if the canvas says the size. Came with a um kind of standard uh you know toolkit, but it does have tweezers. It does have the boat with the funnel for those that like that. I could care less about the funnel part. I have no problem pouring it out of the green boat. Um this was a um, AB diamond painting, which isn't something I purposely go for. It just ha happens to be an AB diamond, diamond painting. Uh, the store is called DIY Home VER AB Diamond Painting Art, or sorry, AB Diamond Art Painting Store. I'll leave a link to, um... the store in the description box below in case you want to find more cartoony ones like I was like I saw I wasn't even searching for it, you know the universe just it put it in front of me so um it came in a bubble mailer and um it's a velvet backed painting 45 by 60. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comes with the foam roller. Oh my god. Oh. Allie had sent me an email like, look, we still have this stuff in your cart for you. And I clicked on it just to peruse. And then, like, a thumbnail of other things to look at popped up. Oh god. And this was the thumbnail. This was the thumbnail. <laughs> Do I feel it was worth it? Absolutely, because it's something I really in is dear to my heart. You know, I I've always loved the Ninja Turtles. Um, here's the drill field. Um, there's forty colors, 
It goes from one to nine and then down on the alphabet and then into symbols because there's not enough alphabet. Uh, the thing I don't love about this legend or key is that there's nine is nine, but also six is six. So I work on the canvas from all directions. So I'm going to have to be mindful of what orientation the painting is actually in uh, before I work on that color. I guess lucky for me, I... Um, I only work on one color at a time. Let's see. The ABs are in the orange, purple, blue, and this lime green. I really thought it'd be in the red, you know, because I haven't really looked at it too closely, but I feel like um, these probably go to the bandanas in their uh, elbow and wrist pads. But, yeah, there's no there's no red for wrath. So, I mean, there probably is red, just, you know, not an AB. But, yeah, the number nine, usually um, the tail to nines is... I normally don't open the drills. The tail to nines are usually straight, and the tails to this nine is curved, just like the tail to the six. So, um, yeah, it's just something you're going to have to be mindful of. I noticed on my um, painting Mazikine that I was kind of having the same problem with the, um, it had the letter V on there, and then it also had the sideways V, like, for coding, and I was like, yeah, that's another thing I'm gonna have to be mindful of when I'm working on it, is which orientation the painting is actually on. Um, I'm over two-thirds done with that dash hound. It's Christmas Eve. I still have to do that later today. Almost two-thirds uh, done with that dash hound, and, um, I've been working on the thing mostly upside down the entire time, so, um, it's just whatever, um, feels right to me, I guess. So let's do this one, because I'm gonna attempt to send it back. I don't know if they will take it back. Um, this one was 902. Is this the right one? Nope, it's not. I wanted the one that I need to send back. Okay, I think it's 945. I'll keep the wrapper there. So, we, so this picture was of a very beautiful purple dragon. Uh, the rest of these are 40 by 70s. And that is a... Sorry, I bumped you. So, um, it looks better through the camera. But half of this dragon is black. It's all 310. All this, all this, black. This is the butt of the dragon. It's all black. Up here all black and um i wasn't even sure which orientation the dragon was going in when i first opened this up and i'm like well maybe they sent me the wrong one no it's the one i bought um it's just all black you know and i looked at the picture and i was like well let me make sure maybe make uh, make sure i didn't actually buy one this dark you know i do like dark images but it was all black um even like the side of the head the side of the head, all these E's, this is the side of the head, and the E's continue into the eyeball. There's no break between the, um, the eye bone, the orbital bone, and the eyeball, and the rest of his body. It just, it's all black going through. Um, I did look at the picture. The picture is not the star. In the picture, there's a little bit of shadowing underneath his uh, face, and a little bit of shadowing 
down here on his bottom, on the very bottom of his bottom. And, um, yeah, you can actually see that it's a dragon. I mean, you can through camera, but in real life, it is so black. And even there's black bordering the entire dragon, too. Like, literally half of this painting is black. And I'm not being dramatic. It's just, um, yeah. So I'm going to try and send it back. Um, we'll see if they take it back or if I'm stuck with another painting I don't really want. Yeah, there's like, there's four full Ziploc bags of black. So this was a very, very, very bad painting. And it needs to go bye-bye. I mean, I'm not someone who minds doing stuff with a lot of black in it, but you can't see the picture. All right, 902. And I'll leave a link to that dragon, too, just so you don't make the unfortunate mistake of uh, buying it. Unless you want to do half of a 40 by 70 in black. Then it may be your picture. D084. Alright, this is a seahorse. Um, I'm not getting everything in frame and I apologize. So I will kind of scoot it. Yeah, my uh, my setup is real janky over here. There we go. This is like a light lilac uh, seahorse. I like that it was smaller. I like that it was pushed against the side a little bit more. And I liked all the purple coral coming up. the, I don't know, can you see that? I have a shit camera too, that doesn't help. Um, not showing the drills. Um, I guess this one will be a uh, purple seahorse. Do I have a, no I don't want to really have a purple seahorse. Seahorse. I had like a flashback of having a Barbie toy where it was an underwater themed Barbie carriage and instead of white horses pulling the carriage it was seahorses. I don't know if that's a memory I made up or if I actually had a Barbie carriage where seahorses were pulling it and not white horses. I don't know. Um, I'm going to give this the letter A, and you'll see why. And I'm just going to write, that was a bad A. Here, we'll try it again. Oh my goodness, just write a fucking A. Okay. This one was, uh, nope, not very new. Um, this one was 10.49, maybe? Shit, I wasn't going to do you either. Okay, I guess I'm doing you next. This is a stained glass sea turtle. I saw it, had to have it. I, 
I just love the image. I love the image. Um, oh, I didn't even look at the key of that seahorse. Oh, well, too late. Um, there's usually something I forget to do, like forgetting to check the stick. I know the stick on that um, Ninja Turtle, it's not the wor the best stick in the world. It's certainly not the worst. Um, and it is poured glue. All these are poured glue. Um, everything looks a okay. It goes from numbers, you know, one is one, and then starting from nine starts on the alphabet. So, um, everything looks fine there. If I can hold it steady enough for you. You probably still won't be able to see it. Nope. Still can't see it. Um... I see it fine. I mean, the dark circles are had white letters in it, so stick is good. So yeah, there is the stained glass sea turtle. Drills coming back. Yeah, I'm not showing the drills. Stained glass turtle. See, yeah, my diamond painting purchasing has, has ceased for now. It hasn't stopped me from adding more. You know, I'll be like, oh, I'm doing good. I just got 20 things out of my cart. And then I, next day I'll put 30 more into it, you know? All right, here's another seahorse. Uh, this was 9.45. But, uh, goodness knows I don't need any more. It's just that fear that if you don't buy it now, it's going to be gone. You know what I mean? Alright, here is another stained glass seahorse. You may be asking yourself, Chelsea, um, don't you already have a stained glass seahorse previously? I do. I do. Here is the next one. Let's see. It goes from numbers to letters. This is kind of a dark one. There's a lot of black at the bottom. But um, there's also a lot of dark blue. So this is more of a darker seahorse. I liked the thicker lines on it. Like it just... Um, I don't know, it looked more like soldering. Should be cool. But yeah, there is the... With my other tripod set up, you would have seen the entire thing, basically. But, like I said, I'm having to use my uh, jiggle tripod. My jiggly tripod. So, my uh, extender, like... Uh, manipulated tri- I don't know what it's called. Gooseneck? We'll call it a gooseneck tripod. Um, uh, and so, this is, uh, as close as I have to have it. I can't- I don't have anything to hook it up further away. But, yeah, there's that seahorse. Very pretty. Um, um, Seahorse, orange, and blue. And we're going to put B, D8023, B, Next one was 988. 
It's another seahorse. You may be asking me, why did you get so many seahorses? I couldn't make up my mind. I tried real hard. Uh, but every time I was like, I have to have that one for that reason, I'd come up with the reason why I had to have the other one for another reason. Um, this does not... Pause you a moment. Okay, sorry, I had to write the entire number on there. Um, I love this one because of the bubbles on the arch up top. Um, it was off. There's a lot of purple in it. It just looked more like a rainbow seahorse, and it was beautiful. I loved all the coral and the kelp coming up off of the bottom. Uh, stick is fine. Goes from numbers into alphabets. Um, I can see the drill field fine. All of these are mounds, in case I didn't say. But yeah, it's a really... Ooh, now I'm getting hungry. It's a really pretty painting. I just couldn't make up my mind. I think I decided I had to have... Uh-oh, almost is... Suck it back. I have this weird thing where sometimes when I have to sneeze, I get nauseous right before I sneeze. And it goes away as soon as I sneeze. I don't know. I've got real issues with sneezing, which most of the time I don't want. I don't mind it, but I just woke up, so I can't control my sneezing. So yeah, it's very rainbow, very rainbow seahorse. Lots of purples. Lots of bubble detail to the top. Should be very pretty. Alright, this next one was from a for you. I don't see a price written on here. Do 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 up nine ninety eight. came with two boats. This one also has tiny bags for those of you that hate tiny bags. I don't mind them. Uh, and I'll wait. One, eight, three, four. Okay. This is a stained glass ship. So I had the stained glass sailboat. Now I have the stained glass shippery doodah. Uh, this legend's going to be a little bit more of a bitch. Uh, it goes from numbers to letters and symbols and other numbers. Is that true? No, that's a B, not an 8. So it goes from numbers to letters and symbols. It's not... I mean, I diamond paint by the symbol anyways, so it's not really confusing for me. The only way I could make it confusing is if I wrote, like, um number one and the symbol is number two on my actual drill container if i just wrote number two in that spot because two is where the drill goes on the canvas and yeah i can uh, avoid confusing myself um classic a little bit hard to pull up uh has good stick it's definitely going to be a canvas where it's stickier in some spots than others um, I can see the field fine. You may need supplemental light. I loved it, you know. I love the ship. I, uh, unfortunately did not get to work on Mazakine whilst I finished Lucifer because I was getting that Broken Angel done. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll work on this one when I'm work when I'm reading the book, The True Confessions of Charlotte Doyle again, but I still need to buy some hard tack. And uh, whatever they were drinking on the ship, all need to be drinking that to get a fully immersive experience. Suppose I could make hardtack. I just 
I don't want to go through the effort of making something that's going to be absolutely inedible. I'd rather buy something that's inedible and eat it than make it myself. Because I'll try and make it edible if I try and make it myself. For all my life, except for the last couple of years, thanks to the YouTube channel uh, Tasting Hicks History with Max Miller. I thought her tack was like stale bread. It, it is not stale bread. It is like a flour biscuit with no leveling in it. Or no, ri no rising agent in it. Alright, I've got one more. This one was kind of expensive. $15.98. Um, oh, I forgot to write. Um, stain. Glass. Shit. I did get to work on broken angel, the Broken Angel one, which I still have to show you. Uh, while I was working on, while I was watching the end, ending of Lucifer, which, you know, technically, Lucifer was a fallen angel, and then Adil lost his wings at one point. You know, I feel like a broken angel thing. Okay. Really does not feel... Oh, there's another bag of drills. Alright, this one has two bags of... Two packages of drills in it. There we go. In a boat. Yeah, dark... I don't know why they did it this way. I don't know why. Okay, um... I, I bought this with store credit, so I technically didn't spend the money on... I kind of did, but... Um, I just fell madly in love with it. Um, it's not a mermaid. It's just a lady. It's just a lady with a shitload of blue. And I was about to say that, man, this whole background looks black. But, um, this one does look darker than the picture. Uh, stick is fine. Uh, goes from numbers to symbols, letters, and and that's it. Symbols and, and letters. Um, I don't know. I'll have to pull out. You know, it just may be. It may not all be black. The B. Oh, not even B is black. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll have to look at the drills. But the picture of it, it just looks so stunning. It's a blue gal in, in a supposed to be stained glass style, and she's wearing this blue dress with a massive amount of blue hair. And I was just, you know, I don't normally go for girls, but I was just awestruck. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't believe she's a mermaid. And hopefully after the drills are on it, uh, it'll look a lot better than it looks like on canvas. Because this upper part looks phenomenal. It's just not... It's just the bottom part that's <laughs> very dark. Um, so if you don't like lots of dark colors, this one is definitely not for you. So, um, that's it. Um, like I said, I'm working on the dash out, so I'll come back and share with you. When I get done with that, and um, thanks so much for watching. Adios. <laughs>